Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video, sponsored by, Wondershare DVD Creator. Wondershare DVD Creator, is the perfect DVD burner tool. Its simple interface, allow the users to burn their videos, with just a few simple steps. While maintaining the quality of the videos, at the same time. Burn DVDs with one click, completely easy for everyone. Add the video effects, crop the video, or even add your own subtitles. It allows you to burn multiple videos, directly onto your DVD. Wondershare DVD Creator, allows you to burn videos, in more than 100 video formats. Burn different files, to data disk, including images, music files, and videos. So, visit the link in the description. So, Let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Firework Text Animation. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 24 frames per second. The first step is to create a new solid, and we will call it the sky background. Now we need to make this layer as twice as this composition size. So first, make sure to click on this checkbox, then click here, and, at the end of the number, type, star, 2. And then click anywhere on the window to eject from the typing box. Here you will see the size has been increased. Make sure to change the color to white, and then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC star burst effect. This is an inbuilt plugin of After Effects. Apply it onto the layer, and then adjust a few settings. First, change the speed value to 0.01. To get a really really slow speed, because we don't want to make the stars static. Cool. Now change the size value to 40. And this is all we need for the stars. Cool. Now go to the first frame, and then press R, to open rotation and add a keyframe on it. Then go to the end position, and change the rotation value to negative 45 degrees. Here we have this simple rotation animation. Now create a new solid, and we will call it the sky. Click on this button, to make it to the comp size. Use any color you want, place this layer below this sky background layer. Now go to the effects and presets, and search for the gradient ramp. Apply it onto the layer, and then, change the end color, to a dark blue color. Something like this. And then hit OK. Now, select this sky background layer. Change the opacity value to around 40%. Select both layers, right click on it, and choose pre-compose. Let's call it the background. And then hit OK. Let's hide it for a while. Create another new solid, and we will call it the firework. Again go to the effects and the presets, and this time, search for the CC Particle Systems 2. This is an inbuilt plugin of After Effect. Apply it onto the layer, and then adjust a few settings. First, go to around 30 frames forward, so that you can see the particles. Now, change the birth rate value to 20. And then, open this physics option, and change the gravity value to 0. So that the particles won't fall down. Perfect. Now make sure you are at the first frame position, and then, add a keyframe on the birth rate. 
go to around 2 frames forward, by pressing the control, plus right arrow key. Here, change the birth rate value to 0. Also, let's increase the longevity value to 10. Check the animation, and now you can see the explosion effect. But my particles, are going beyond my frame size. So, change the velocity value to 0.5. It will make the explosion a little bit slower. Now change the resistance value to 15. Here we have this small fireworks explosion. Cool. Let's create some big particles. Select the fireworks layer, then make a duplicate of it. Let's call it fireworks big. Open this particles option, and change the particle type to star. Also, change the birth size value to 0.02, and the death size value to 0.01. Let's keep the birth size value to 0.05. Here we have this nice looking explosion. Perfect. Select both layers, right click on it, and choose pre-compose. Let's call it fireworks, and then hit OK. We will hide it as well. Now, create a new solid layer once again, and call it the reveal. Use any color you want. Again, go to the effects and the presets, and apply the particles system, on this layer as well. Open particles, and change the particle type to the shaded and faded sphere. Also, change the birth size value to 0.02, and death's value to 0.01. Also, increase the birth rate value by 200. Now open physics, and change the gravity value to 0. Also, change the velocity value to 0 as well. Here we have these particles, without any explosion. Now, Open this producer option, and change the radius x value to 30. Also change the radius y value to 30 as well. This is how our particles are going to appear inside the text. But this is not that great. I am going to change the radius x, and radius y value to 50. To cover up the maximum part of the screen. Also, let's change the birth size value to 0.03. Perfect. Now it is looking much better. It's time to add our text. Go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. You are free to add your logo as well. Now select the top text, and I am going to change its font to a different font. You can download these fonts from the link in the description. Now, I am going to change the color to the white, so that I can see it. The color of this text does not matter, because we will use the particles colors for the reveal. Align your text into the center. Now right click on it, and choose pre-compose. We will call it the text comp. Also, I am going to pre-compose this reveal layer as well. Just to organize the project in a much better way. Let's call it the review comp. And make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition. Perfect. Now we will use the track mat option. If you don't see your track mat option here, press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key, has been affected, by the heavy pollution of India. Then right click here, go to the columns, and select modes. Now change the track mat option to alpha mat. And then our text should look like this. Cool, this is what we all need. Let's do some color adjustments. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the glow effect. Apply it onto the layer. And it will make the text particles brighter. Let's turn on the visibility of these layers. And then select these layers, and change their blending mode to screen. Also, select the reveal comp layer. Go to the effects and the preset, and search for the hue saturation effect. Apply it onto the layer, and from this master hue, you can change the color of it. Also, make it brighter, to make the color more realistic. Select this fireworks layer, 
and apply the hue saturation effect on it as well. Also, search for the glow effect and apply on it. I am going to change the color of the firework so that it will have the same color as the text. Let's select these top two layers and place their starting position at one second so that the text should start appearing after the first second. Cool. Let's pre-compose them as well. We will call it the logo reveal and then hit OK. Let's make a duplicate of it and make sure to change the blending mode to screen. Do the same for this second layer as well. Now select the second layer, and then go to the effects and the presets once again, here search for the CC radial fast blur effect. Apply it onto the layer. And now, you can see these nice looking rays. Select this firework layer once again, and make a duplicate of it. Go to around first second, and then place this layer to the right. Also, change the position of this firework to somewhere like this. We are creating a bunch duplicates of this firework layer, and placing them randomly to achieve a bigger firework animation. Just make a duplicate, change the starting position, and place them randomly to cover up the entire text. Perfect, this is what we are looking for. For changing the color of individual layers, simply select it and change the master hue value to a random number but make sure it should look real not the artificial firework perfect ram preview this and our animation is complete i'll see you next week thanks for watching this tutorial have a good day